Good morning, girls. It is time for our morning announcements. I'm Tamara. And I'm Claire. And we're at your Shabby TV. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today is Tuesday, April 26th. It is National Pretzel Day and a silent reading day. The Belzer blog is available on Canvas. Please log in. Today's lunch menu is nachos with meat and cheese, Lo loaded potato skins, and Steph Cuts pizza, with sides of ham and cheese chef salad, spicy chicken wrap, steamed broccoli with cheese, refried beans, and sweet potato fries. In national news, Harriet Tubman will be the new face of the $20 bill. Here is a CNN video with more bill now and that is going to be Harriet Tubman replacing Andrew Jackson and that means that everyone's favorite former Treasury Secretary Alexander Hamilton gets to remain on the $10 bill. Uh, Andy you spoke to uh, Secretary Lou uh, last June and he had a little bit of uh, saying a little bit of a different tune right let's take a listen. The $10 bill for a number of years now has been next in line. Uh, the $20 bill for example has been modernized more than the $10 bill and uh, I don't think that it could be justified to break the cycle and choose uh, to go against the security uh, concerns, which is what drives us uh, to identify the $10 bill as the next one. So what's going on? President Obama announced that he will be sitting another 250 special op President Obama announced that he will be sitting another 250 Special Operation Forces to Syria. They will be leading the fight against ISIS on the ground and also training and assisting local forces. A police department in Green Mountain Falls, Colorado had only four employees, a marshal and three deputies. All of them resigned, leaving the town with no law enforcement. And Adam Madden with the sports and weather update. Today's weather will be a high of 80 degrees and a low of 53 degrees. Sports fact, the New York Yankees have won 27 World Series titles. Sports news, last night 8th grade softball won 19-3 against Raymond Park. Today 8th grade softball plays against Eastern Hancock. 7th grade and 8th grade baseball both play against Clay Junior High School. All games are at 5. And now back to our anchors. Thank you, Madeline. Voting for the name of the new baby Arenda King at the Indianapolis Zoo is now available until May 2nd. The available choices include Nyre, which means truth, Indri, which means full moon, Mila, which means dear one, Kiki, the name of the great grandmother, and Kitri, which means rare. Vote on the Indianapolis Zoo Facebook page. Conditioning workouts are currently available for potential freshman football players. Join Coach Morris on Tuesday mornings. If you cannot make the Tuesday morning workout at LC, you are expected to attend every workout every workouts every money Monday from four to five PM in the new gym. Don't miss out another year of orchestra. Seventh grade students who did not take orchestra this year but are interested may sign up for beginning orchestra next year as eighth graders. If you already filled out your elective sheets, see Miss Nieto and see one thirty two and she will make sure to get orchestra added to your schedule. Lawrence Central's drama department will be performing the Music Man this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Tickets are $10 in advance and $12 at the door. There are a few slots left for the 8th grade trip to Chicago. Sign up this week. If you have signed up, please get your payment in this week. Interesting fact. While you're awake, your brain generates enough power to light up a light bulb. On this day in history in 1986, the nuclear disaster in clear no Ukraine occurs. Quote of the day, don't watch the clock, do what it does. Keep going by Sam Levinson. And Adam is Trotter with the rest of your morning announcements. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Bruins. Bruins. Good morning, everybody. This is Mrs. Trotter talking um, for Mr. Harsha. Just a reminder, it is reading day. And in your reading logs, it is an individual award this week, so there will be tickets um, that need to be filled out and sent to the office if you turn in your reading log. But it's also a Belzer blog day. So on your screen, you can see that on today's date, there is a box that says Belzer blog. Yours might be a different color. If you click on that box, you will find a link to our uh, newspaper. So if you click on the link, 
it will open up the newspaper. There are a couple of things that I've shown you the last few months that I wanted to go through one more time. Again, each of these are linked directly to um, a page. You can also scroll over to a page to find some very interesting articles that are written for uh, this month's issue. There's always a back button that you can go back. But on top of that, this month, we have put in a photo gallery. So this link right here that I'm pointing to will go to a photo gallery that has, is eight pages long. You can always scroll over to the next page by clicking over to the right, and you will see pictures of our athletes. The biggest thing I wanted to show you is that you can choose a photo and click on it, and it will go large screen. So if you have the desire to look close up at a picture, just click on it. And when you click on it again, it will go back small screen. So you can take a look at various players playing softball or baseball or whatever it is you want to take a look at. Unfortunately, there are no track pictures because our track home meet was canceled last week due to rain. But we will get track pictures in the next issue. So thank you and have a good day.